All right. So uh, this is in honor of Stephen George, um, and this is the Friends of Stephen George. Hey, Orchestra. everybody. Hey, thanks for coming out tonight. And, uh, you know, uh, this, this competition has been named for Stephen because he was uh, kind of the preeminent songwriter in Tucson. How many people know Stefan, remember Stefan? So uh, Stefan played every folk festival up until he passed. And he was the first person that would play multiple sets in a folk festival. He'd play a set by himself or a set with his, his darling wife, the love of his life, and his partner in all things in music and marriage and pottery. Uh, Lavinia White, who also needs to be mentioned because they were really uh, two sides of the same coin. And uh, Stefan would do, yeah, Stefan would do a set with Lavinia, and then he would do a set with uh, this woman, uh, Anna Duff. They were called Arm and Hammer. They would do uh, traditional music. He'd play guitar, Anna would play um, uh, Hammer Dulcimer. And, uh, and then he'd play a set with his mom, and he would back her on guitar, and his mom, Emily George, was a, a wonderful in interpreter of uh, European folk songs. And uh, Stefan was one of a kind. And uh, he was as uh, prolific as he was uh, qualitative. And I had the, the chance to play with him in a, in a thing called the Brain Damage Orchestra. Now, you, you couldn't name a band like that, name like, you, you couldn't name a band that in these times. But really the joke was on, you know, the joke was on the band because it was uh, a band where a lot of people in it were just learning how to play. And they, they, they struggled with trying to play the same thing the same way two times in a row. And so the band, the, really the joke was on themselves. And I was the, I was the eighth person in a seven piece band. So to give you an idea where I stood in the, in the hierarchy of that group. And uh, Brain Damage put out four cassettes and one incredible LP recorded about 40, 43 songs but Stefan had written about 90 songs that we performed over a period of about eight years. So he was pretty prolific. And when he was done being a rock and roll star, he got into the folk thing. And he had a band called Song Tower. And it's my friend Tom Poley over here. And Tom had a, a little record label called Blue Biku Records. And uh, they put out a few, several records by uh, Steph. And we're gonna enter that, uh, we're gonna do a, a song from that period. I wanna introduce the lovely Emily Cray, Emmy Cray here, and Susie Ronstadt. They're the choir. We're, we're also, we're not allowed to say chick singers anymore. So we just say they're the women who are more talented than us. It's a song that uh, Stefan put out on the very first Song Tower recording. It was a, a demo that he and Lavinia had done. And then a couple of albums later, he, uh, he did it up really nice on a, a record called Cactus and Concrete. This tune's called Electric Avenue. It was raining copper pennies when the two lost souls were found at the corner drugstore trying to drive them. fleeting moment when they both turned around truck backfired somewhere up the street he saw his mother's eyes and wonder as if you and her firstborn he saw Hollywood reflected in her hair she caught the smell of his wet leather and she thought of her old man they bumped into love right then and there. Because love needs no audition. It won't take a written cue. When it's leaning toward midnight on electric air. talk for hours as lovers sometimes do 
just to spill the evening's heart. Telling stories about their half-forgotten past until the dawn begins to blush. Cause love can be so real, it seems you can reach into your dreams and feel it coming up the sidewalk. and broke the spell like a bullet through the glass they followed the magicians out the door muttering excuses they both left in separate cabs like it had all been done before and sometimes on a Sunday around about 3 a.m. When loneliness paints every shadow blue, drive a little slower through that place inside their heart they call Electric Avenue. Where love can be so real, it seems you can reach into your dreams and feel. Sidewalk on Electric Avenue. Coming up the sidewalk on Electric Avenue. Coming up the sidewalk. Thank you. So uh, how about a hand for the songwriters? You know, writing songs, it ain't easy. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> but uh, are the songwriters out there? Are you out there? So we wanted you all to know uh, a little bit about Stefan. So uh, Tom and I, who actually have uh, boxes of Stefan George product, we've prepared uh, some little uh, I'd say they, uh, if we had bags, we'd call them a goodie bag, but we have little piles of CDs for you. So all the songwriters are going to take home about a half dozen Stephen George CDs with them. And uh, just so you know, like, you know, and you guys came through tonight. The bar is pretty high. I think, I think uh, Stephen set the bar high any time he wanted to write a song. So we have CDs for everybody. And we also have CDs for the judges, wherever they're at, because uh, everybody should know about Stephen. Tom, you want to introduce this next song? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Stefan was really a great inspiration for me and for, and for so many other folks, and a, and a really great friend. And when, when, when he died, uh, I, I, I felt great loss. And I thought, well, I should try to do a little something, a little tribute for Stefan. And uh, so this is the song that I came up with to celebrate Stefan. And celebrate his, his, uh, his blues. His blues yeah, uh, heritage. And that, yeah, and that's uh, something we didn't really mention yet. Besides being more of a, a, a folk, uh, new folk songwriter, which he really was, he really found his voice in later years in the, the blues idiom, especially the Delta style blues. And he'd play his dobro and, and resonophonic guitars and write really, really great bluesy songs. And his voice really uh, fit the bill on that. So having said that, uh, thinking about Stefan at that period of his life. The, this, we're going to be the song that's kind of a tribute to that persona of Stefan. And I'm trying to think about how do you talk about this guy, but his name was Stefan George. And I thought I, I kind of borrowed uh, from a, a New Orleans kind of phrase that I had heard where the guy had like two front names, you know, like Jean Paul. I mean, it's like Stefan George. So we're going to go with that's called uh, two front names. Oh, we're going to introduce our friend Kathy Harris up here. 
And Kathy, so just so you know, you know, just so you know, we're not above shameless promotion. Tom and Emmy are going to be playing uh, uh, with their band uh, uh, Out of the Blue uh, sometime Sunday. Uh, Out of the Blue tomorrow night, 6 to Saturday. 7 on the, the court stage. Court. And Kathy and Susie are going to be playing in their group, uh, frankly, Scarlett. When are you playing? Uh, 3.30 on the court? No, Church, church Street. Church, on Sunday at 3.30, there you go. Church Street. Just so you know. And Stefan, he hated shameless promotion. He'd make a face when somebody would do something like that. So it's for you, Steph. There you go, buddy. Steph and George. Blues man with two front names. Blues man with two front names. Blues man with two front names. He's the blues man with two front names. Played a six string flat top head. Channel Howlin' Wolf from his front porch. Stephen George. Stephen George. Stephen George. Stephen George. He quoted all the crossroads phrases. Painted by Jim Crow hazes, a black man's soul in a white man's shoes. He knew all the facts. Paying your dues. One foot in the past and one in the now. His voice was a smoke at juke joint ground. The cobra was his mistress, Beulah. Their passion was worth more than Moolah. He's the blues man, two front names, who played a six string flat top game, channeled Sun House from his front porch. Stephen George, Stephen George, Stephen George, Stephen George. of chitlins finally broke out of grief prison he'd lost his wife his love and muse no doubt this man truly knew the blues he's the blues man two front names live life chasing and run from fame he channeled lead belly from his front porch step in Thank you so much. Thanks for listening, folks. Thanks to Brothers Brothers are going to be out here in a minute. Thanks for hanging in. And, uh, you know, if you're a little bit chilly tonight, as Stefan would say, just suck it up, man. You know, we dodged a few weather bullets, man. So we're doing, we're looking great for the weekend. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging. And we'll see you sometime later this weekend. Hang out with the brothers because they're awesome. <laughs>